This is Johnny with Tiger Bomb MMA. And with Valentine's Day coming up, I thought to myself, there's a lot of ladies out there that need loving, primarily in the UFC. There's loads of ladies here that don't get their due. Some ladies that I consider to be very um, bangable, if you will. So I use my scientific background to come up with a list of the ladies that I absolutely would bang in the UFC that aren't the typical ladies. Uh, so we've got some lower level ladies outside the top 15 and so, and uh, some of which are possibly in the top 15, but outside the top 15 of the lookers. So I've compiled my list here. We've got the categories of would, which are, I absolutely would bang. Uh, should being, for example, mm, I absolutely should bang her, but I'm worried about potentially getting a finger up the uh, Could are the ones that like, say I could bang her if say, for example, I don't know, I got paid or even myself as a man who doesn't drink or do any sort of recreational drugs were to be intoxicated, I could muster up the boner for her. And then no good are the ladies that I just, <laughs> I could not go through with it or potentially not kill myself afterwards. So let's get started with this list with the first lady, one of my absolute favorites, one that deserves a bit more love, Maria Agapova. Maria Agapova isn't what you would call a traditionally beautiful woman, but she has something about her, something a dirtiness to her that I believe would lead me to have a very, very, very good time. Quite possibly the hardest uh, of my life. But I am worried about her sticking something up my rear. So I will put her in the should category where I would have to consider myself. Um, do I really want to potentially risk myself fighting off her hands in my butt? So I'll put her in the should for now. Oh, OK. Here we got one. We've got Carla Esparza. Automatic wood, great body, former champion, no doubt about it. There are some issues, if you know what I mean, that I have to get rid of. But as Jose would say it, the paper bags were invented for a reason. We've got one of my personal favorites here going on the top of the list. We've got Corey McKenna Poppins. She has a quality of her of a very naughty, naughty librarian. And uh, I quite enjoy it, pigtails and all. Uh, speaking of pigtails, Brogan Walker, very ethnic. I don't know where she comes from, but I feel as if I would... Uh, I would taste it in her in her skin. So I'd like to know what she tastes like. So I'll put her in the wood category. Moving on, we've got Jillian Roberts. Speaking of taste, I feel she would taste absolutely horrible. Um, so I would put her in the no good category. More so, I'm considering a, an aroma of, say, skunk and a horrible weed. So I put her in the no good category. I'm a man of standards. Uh, moving on, Mandy Baum. I am a man of standards, but not that high of standards. So Manny Baum goes in the wood category, no doubt there. Uh, moving on here, Ariane Carnalosi. Carnalosi, if I ever do decide to perhaps want to get with a buff woman with back knee, I guess I could put her in my list. But uh, at the very moment, she is going in the could category where bad things would have to happen to me to consider putting myself in her. Moving on, we've got Jin Young Kim. Fire fist. I am worried about my fist catching on fire if I were to say uh, fist, but I will put her in the wood regardless just due to, you know, yellow fever. Uh, going on, we have got zombie girl, Priscilla Cachoeira. Uh, I'm not putting her in the no good category, unlike some other people. She deserves a bit of love, so I'll put her in the could. In certain circumstances, say zombie apocalypse, I might need her as fodder, so I will put her in the could category and we can repopulate the earth. Uh, moving on, we've got J.J. Aldrich. J.J. Aldrich, to me, no doubt about it, is should. Not because I, say, find her incredibly attractive, but she does resemble a bit uh, like Holly Holm. So I feel as if I were to tell my friends, hey, look at the girl that I uh, I went through with. And they would be like, is that Holly Holm? I'd be like, absolutely, that is Holly Holm. Uh, Joanne Calderwood. The name says it all, Calderwood. Uh, moving on, we've got Macy Chalson. Macy Chalson and I have a lot in common, mainly that we like ladies uh but she does resemble a certain someone and i've never really had the desire to sleep with milo yiannopoulos so no good category for me we've got chelsea chandler chelsea chandler is in the absolute wood category automatically me thinking i'd like to weigh her boobs moving on we've got b malecki similar category we've got her in the wood although that picture doesn't do her justice i would absolutely love to measure her legs she's a very tall model-esque looking woman and dressed up she is a stunner. Moving on, Lucia Putaloba, the wolf bitch. I think she can be very animalistic in bed. I'll put her in the wood category. Jolija Storlienko. She needs love too. 
something about her, I would not say no to. So I'll put her in the should category. She can armbar my c going on. We've got Lauren Murphy. Lauren Murphy, absolute could. She gives me some of her meth. We can talk. Uh, Teresa Belda, nothing to say about her. I think she's lovely. I think she's got a beautiful face, beautiful smile. She scowls though, so she's one of these girls that like, if she were to smile more. Moving on, Miranda Maverick. Miranda Maverick is a toughie because I feel as if me and Miranda could be very good friends. Very, very good friends. And I don't want to compromise that with, you know, relations. But I will put her in the could category. Uh, example being, say... Uh, we're hanging out at her place, and she's playing Dungeons and Dragons, or whatever the fuck her nerdy ass plays. And say, I'm playing with her, I roll the dice. As I roll my 20 and I grab my dice again, my hand brushes up against her hand, and our eyes interlock, and then the magic happens there, I suppose. So I, I see a situation where I could. Going on, we've got Amanda Lemos. Amanda Lemos, I'm not too familiar with what she uh, likes, if you know what I mean, but... She could get it. Absolutely should. Might be champion here soon. Especially after seeing this picture where her hair is sweaty and her mouth is full of, like, God knows what. Uh, it gives me ideas. Loma Luke Boomy, unfortunately, reminds me of a 13-year-old boy, so I cannot. Uh, let's just get those out of the way. Na Liang, 13-year-old boy. Uh, we've got here Josie Ann Nunes, a very edgy 13-year-old boy. And let's see. That'll do it for the teens. Uh, we've got... Ooh, quintessential white woman sam hughes sam hughes is a could uh could because i feel as if she were to take me out to brunch with her white friends when they're all going out together with the same matching outfit with the tight jeans and the brown boots and the sun hats and after a night of say for example charcuterie boards and and mimosas i feel as if she could uh, get me get me uh, inebriated enough to take advantage of me so i will Put her in the could category. We've got up next Elise Reed. Elise Reed. Hmm. My biggest worry with Elise is that my impending homosexuality it will creep up because she does kind of look like a, like a Sean O'Malley. So I'll put her in the no good category for my own sake. Going on, we've got Spider Girl. Don't ask me why. Absolute would, no doubt about it. I just can't help it. We've got up next. Ooh, we've got Jennifer Maya. Jennifer Maya could get it. Mainly because she does look a, like a Brazilian MILF, and I, I can have some fun with that. One of my absolute favorites here, Stephanie Egger. I will put her at number two. She reminds me of, uh, from Better Call Saul, uh, Kim Wexler. So I've got a thing for Kim. She goes in the absolute wood category. Going on here, we've got the subway girl herself, Molly Meatball McCann. Absolute wood. My biggest concern with her, though, which I'm willing to take with, with Molly Meatball, is that she might want to peg me, but I'm willing to take my chances with Molly Meatball. Now, you know, matter of fact, Maria Agapova, I'll take my chances with you, too. Absolute wood. Moving on, we have got Myro Buena Silva. Buena Silva, in this particular picture, if I were just use this one, this one as reference, absolute should category, her mouth being open and right and primed and ready. Uh, cannot say no to that. Let's see here. We've got... Piera La Fiera Rodriguez looks like she would twerk my cock off, so I'll put her in the wood. You know what? Put Eileen Perez there as well. She would twerk my cock off as well, no doubts about it. Let's go on here. We've got hmm. This one's a bit tricky when it comes to this young lady here. Uh, my my gut obviously is telling me no to put Virna. Jangeroba in the no good category, but my pride is saying you could, you could fix that eye with your fluid. So put her in the could category just out of my own personal scientific curiosity. Going on, we have got Denise Gomes. Denise Gomes, I, I've said it before, kind of looks like Andre Feely, but I won't hold that against her. I absolutely should. Dated a girl kind of looks like her, a little bit softer in the eyes. Uh, let's just say they can they can really fix themselves up just nicely. And plus those two uh, things right there really help. Nipples, that is. Going on, we've got Jocelyn Edwards. Jocelyn Edwards, I feel like she would be... She would undeniably take me home. So I think I would not have a choice with Jocelyn Edwards. So I'll put her in the wood category. We have got here... Who is this young lady? Her name is Timaris Vidal. 
Tomorrow's Vidal. I just cannot cannot go through with it. I would not be able to not kill myself afterwards. So I'll put her in the no good category for my own safety. Going on here, we have got Dread. I can't even remember what her real name is. For that particular reason, I have to put her in the no good category. And then finally, we have got Yan Xiaonan. Yan Xiaonan is a tricky customer. Being that we might be going to war with China, I think I absolutely should. Um, so if I if I am put in a situation where I have to find a Chinese mate, I will go with Yan Xiaonan here. This is my tier list of the ladies that I would absolutely bang, that I should bang, that I could bang, that I just absolutely could not. So I might find Jillian Roberts here to be surprising, but again, she looks like she stank. So I will keep her in the no good category, but I will be fair and put her in the very end of the no good because, for example, if the aroma of her weed gets me high, I guess I could, but I'll put her in the no good still. Uh, that is my tier. Let me know what you think about it. If uh, you would bang any of these ladies in the no good category, you filthy, filthy bastard. So let me know in the comments below. Johnny from Tiger Bomb MMA. Enjoy your Valentine's Day.